Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at a property of Laplace transforms that deals with trans translation in time domain. Translation in time domain. The property can be stated as follows. If Laplace transform of a function f of t is equal to f of s and there is a new function g of t in time domain equal to f of t minus a that is a shifted version of f of t for t greater than a and equal to 0 for t less than a then the Laplace transform of g of t is equal to an exponential e power minus a s multiplied by the original Laplace transform f of s. Therefore, a shift in time domain is equivalent to modulation in s domain or s plane. Now, let us look at the proof for this property. Starting with the definition that is LHS. Definition of Laplace transform that is integral from 0 to infinity e power minus st g of t dt. And by using the definition of g of t, we can rewrite the integral as integral 0 to a e power minus st g of t dt plus integral a to infinity e power minus st g of t dt. And clearly this is 0 because g of t is 0 for t less than a. Therefore, this component is 0. Now, we are left with the right one, which is equal to integral a to infinity e power minus st f of t minus a dt by using the definition of g of t for t greater than a. And now, by using t, of t minus a equal to u and dt equal to du and for t equal to a implies u equal to 0 and t equal to infinity implies u equal to infinity. The limits, the new limits are 0 to infinity. Therefore, and of course, t is replaced by u plus a. Therefore, this is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus s into u plus a into f of u du. And this is equal to e power minus a s by simply bringing e power minus a s outside the integral and we are left with integral 0 to infinity e power minus su f of u du which is by definition a Laplace transform of the function f of u therefore this is equal to e power minus a s f of s which proves the property now let us look at an example we know that Laplace transform of t power 3 that is t cube is equal to 3 factorial by s power 3 plus 1 which is 6 by s power 4. Now we have a function g of t defined as t minus 2 whole cube for t greater than 2 and 0 for t less than 2. Clearly this is g of t equal to f of t minus a where f of t is t cube. Therefore Laplace transform of g of t is equal to by using the shifting property it should be equal to e power minus a s into f of s and clearly here a is equal to 2 though it should be e power minus 2 s into f of s which is 6 by s power 4 therefore this is equal to 6 into e power minus 2 s over s power 4 thus we can use the translation in time property of laplace transform to find laplace transform of these type of functions thanks for watching